So similarly in question number eight, they are saying the distance between these two points is 10. So I'm going to calculate the distance between PQ equals to 10. This is given according to the question. So what is the distance? Distance formula I will apply. X2 is 10, 10 minus 2 whole square plus y minus minus 3 whole square equals to 10. I don't want to keep it in root the way I did earlier in the previous question. I'll do squaring both sides. Okay. So what will happen? Root will be eliminated. And over here, 10 minus 2 will give me 8. 10 minus 2 will be 8. That means 64. And over here, I will be getting y plus minus minus plus. y plus 3 whole square. So I'm going to use the identity. Okay. So a square plus b square, that is 9, plus 2ab, that means 6y equals to 100. Now, since this is a quadratic, so I'm going to keep this thing to the left-hand side and simplify. So y square plus 6y. 64 plus 9, what is the answer? 64 plus 9? 73. 73. And I'm going to subtract 100. Isn't it? Because it is going to the left side. So 73 27. minus 100 minus 27 equals to 0. So this is my quadratic equation. Now there are two ways. First way is middle term splitting. I have taught this thing extensively. There are so many videos also I have uploaded on YouTube. So since we are doing in higher classes now, that uh, chances are this Milton splitting won't be useful. Second topic is called quadratic formula. Okay. So should I check Milton splitting or should I directly do quadratic formula? Tell me. Uh, quadratic formula. Yeah, because I did with Milton splitting. Okay. So. Neil, since you are in 10th grade, okay, yes. let me tell you, Milton splitting won't be useful. <laughs> oh. Every time, go for quadratic formula. I'm telling you, 99% chances are that it will, uh, it will be easier to do quadratic formula. Oh, okay. So, what is quadratic formula? Let me just quickly revise it for you. Uh, the y value is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. That's the formula. Oh, okay. okay. So in my question, uh, the quadratic equation is ax square plus by, sorry, uh, bx plus c equals to 0. So basically, over here in my question, a is 1. Yes or no? Yes, sir. a is 1. What is B in my question, Angad? What is B in my question? B is 6. Six. Okay. B is 6. And Neil, what is C in my question? Minus 27. Minus 27. So I'm going to just substitute this thing in this formula. So therefore, Y equals to minus... 6, six plus minus root six, six square. square always put in bracket okay because six can be negative also minus six okay okay four a a value is one, one. c value is minus, minus twenty that's why I was saying upon two one, one. understood yes sir. Now we'll solve it. Minus 6 plus minus. Let us solve the inside portion. This one. Separately. 6 square is what? 36? 
Six square is what? Thirty-six. And over yes. there, minus, 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 plus, because it's a multiplication. Yes. Twenty-seven into four is what? Twenty-seven multiplied by four is one zero eight. Understood? Yes. So one zero eight plus twenty-four will give me one thirty-two. One forty four. Sorry, sorry. One forty four. One forty four. Is that thing clear? Yes. Yes. Upon two. So minus six. Now I'm going to take plus and minus separately. Plus one forty four square root is twelve. Or minus six minus twelve upon two. So minus six plus twelve will give me six upon two. That will be three. So y value is three. Or minus eighteen by two. Y value is minus nine. Clear. Y yes. value is three or minus nine. So in this case, quadratic formula also we have revised quickly. Please take a screenshot of this thing. And this was question number eight. If there is any doubt, you can ask. 